Shetland lies 60 miles north of Orkney and consists of a group of 20 inhabited islands. As with Orkney, Shetland also has its own mainland. Its capital is Lerwick, the most northerly town in the UK that is nearer to Bergen in Norway than any other sizeable counterpart in this country. The town dates from the 17th century and has a distinctly foreign look to it, with many of the houses built into the sea in a Venetian manner with lodberries. The lairds of the island's various estates built townhouses here, and the closeness of each property owes much to the wet, windy, long, dark winters, requiring the distance between each house to be as short a walk as possible. The festival, Up Heliar, is celebrated at the end of January, in the dark, long days, to welcome back the sun and the never-ending daylight hours. On Commercial Street is the Shetland Fudge Company, award-winning artisan creators of traditional handmade fudges, chocolates, tablet and ice cream. Another enterprise based here is the Shetland Teddy Bear Company. These traditionally jointed heirlooms are made on the island of 100% Shetland wool from Shetland rare breed sheep. Based here as well is the Shetland Art Company, an absolute haven for the knitter and crafter, with a vast range of supplies as well as a small gallery. Glenorchy House is located in the south of town and was built in 1904 by the church as a convent. It has been refurbished and extended by the current owners and offers comfortable bed and breakfast in a number of ensuite rooms with single, double, twin and family options. The seas around Shetland have a greater diversity of marine mammals than anywhere else in the UK. The continental shelf is only 30 miles away, whilst the Arctic ice flow is a couple of hundred miles north, and the Arctic Circle 400. The Vos are long sea lochs that find their way inland, so nowhere on Shetland is ever very far from the sea. The West Mainland and Weasdale's largest building is the Mill, now a gallery, they say built from the stones of 300 crofts after the clearances. The Weasdale shop is a great place to source local produce, as well as groceries, confectionery, wines and spirits. It's also a news agent and filling station. The view from the Scord of Weasdale is one of the best loved in Shetland. Travel to the South Mainland, passing the Broch on the island of Musa, which dates from around the time of Christ. Today it's home to hundreds of storm petrel who nest in its 2,000-year-old walls and the island is now an RSPB reserve. Also on the south mainland is St Ninian's Isle. This was the site of a discovery in 1958 by a schoolboy of a hoard of silver bowls and ornaments dating from 800 AD. The isle is linked to the mainland by a sand tombolo, the best example of a sand causeway in the country. Hay Hole overlooks St Ninian's Isle and across to Fula. It's a modern, comfortable family home, offering a warm welcome and first-class B&B. This is a very beautiful, peaceful and memorable place, and yet still convenient, as you can easily explore the rest of the Shetland mainland from here. Fair Isle is internationally known for its knitting and birds. The multicoloured, stranded, traditional Fair Isle patterns first became fashionable when Edward VII wore the tank tops in 1921. The island has been owned by the National Trust since 1954 and is accessible by air and sea from mainland Shetland. Located midway between Shetland and Orkney, it's only three miles long by two miles wide and therefore can easily be covered on foot. The Fair Isle Bird Observatory is a new building offering spacious, comfortable ensuite accommodation with home cooking, licensed bar, interpretive room, bird observatory and it offers a free ranger service and guided walks along the dramatic cliffs which teem with colonies of resident seabirds. But Fair Isle also acts as a staging post for other migrating birds resulting in a remarkable record of over 300 different species having been recorded here. Return to the mainland via Lerwick and Kirkwall en route to John o